Our district has done it with great success, letting our students have the keys to the kingdom and let them post what they want to post. So I'm going to give you my seven tips for a great social media takeover. First, find a teacher or a club sponsor that's going to help you out. They're going to guide the whole process and they're going to monitor the content to make sure the students are doing what they're supposed to do. Second, pick a micro-influencer in your student group at one of your schools. Pick the kids who are going to get shares, engagement, retweets, whatever social media platform you choose. Make sure they're on it, make sure they're familiar, and make sure they have the followers and the engagement. Number three, have some type of event attached to your takeover. We've done homecomings, we've done back to school. An event always helps the process. Number four, Promote the heck out of it. Do it before the takeover, a week in advance. And especially on Instagram and Snapchat, advertise, advertise, advertise. Let the kids know what you are doing. Fifth, develop a hashtag for this. Get people familiar with the hashtag. Every time they see it, they know a student is doing the work and not you. Six, encourage the staff at that specific school or throughout the district to engage with the content. Just because it's not being done from us doesn't mean the teachers won't get a kick out of engaging. They're going to like it even more. It's their students. Seven, don't give too many restrictions. I know a lot of people are scared about handing all of this over to the students, but it's not going to be fun for them. You're not going to get the best content possible. Do not give too many restrictions. And a bonus tip, use Instagram. I know a lot of you are getting engagement with Facebook. It's probably your parents. And then Twitter, but let's face it, the kids are on Instagram and Snapchat. They're shifting over to Instagram. Use Instagram for your takeover.